hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be challenging myself to make three storage boxes at the same time so i'll be making a small medium and a large one this will be my first time making three at one particular time now i'm doing the upholstering earlier this morning i framed out the boxes if you'd like to see how i created the box check out some older videos i have on my channel which i'll link in the description down below these boxes are extremely sturdy i've never had one customer coming back to tell me that their storage box broke or in our jamaican language we would say hot dung in this video i'll show you a clip of a little sturdy test video clip i did for tiktok by the way guys i'm on tiktok i'm new to tiktok I've had the TikTok account for a while now and I posted two videos. I was just trying to figure it out. Now I'm posting a little regular so you can follow the account. I'm still trying to figure it out as usual because I'm not over there often. I've gotten order from TikTok. Then I realized that there's an audience over there. So I said, why not? Why not just stay over there? So guys, you can check out the account. It's the same name, Freakers Designs. Maybe you'll get to see some behind the scenes, you know, clips of me filming, working in the workshop when the Amma drop on my tour or something, you know, just kidding guys, you know, but you will see another side of me. I don't know what I'll post yet, but it's still, um, it's all about me promoting my business same way. So guys, if you're, when you have time, you know, you can check out that, follow me on TikTok, share the account and all. Yeah, so the name of the account is Freakers Designs and it's all about DIY decorating and designing. So I'll still be on YouTube guys, I'm not going anywhere. And remember to check your notification bell guys, remember YouTube, I realize that YouTube is turning off some of the notification bells. So every now and then, check them. You know, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going over TikTok and leave you guys. I love YouTube so much, even though I don't post often. I'm just so busy a lot of times with work. So it is so hard to be working and at the same time to be, you know, editing videos. But I try to do what I can do. So let's get back to this video now. I've done a lot of storage boxes and headboards. And I'm not going to post videos on all of them to bore you guys. Maybe somebody watching now is just bored of seeing all these storage boxes all the time. So this channel is not a headboard and storage box channel. Neither is it a upholstery channel. This channel is about me doing my DIYs, decorating and designing. So as I've mentioned in other videos, whenever I have a new design for or a new fabric or new anything on these storage box or headboards i'll show you guys so today i'll be doing a new design on one of these storage boxes i'll be doing a buttonless stuffed in and a, on the small one guys this is my first time doing this design but i know in my head that i can do it and i know a lot of diys out there you can attest to what i'm saying you have never tried something but because you have a certain skill and talent to do things you know you can take on a challenge and nail it well so without saying much more guys let's get right to the tutorial now this is a picture of the ottoman that i'm gonna try to replicate as you can see this is a buttonless tufting and the tufting is only on the cover so now i'm measuring and marking the spaces for the design I'm using the measurement six and a half inches across and seven inches down. Now I'm drilling the holes for the tufting after which I'll add two inch sponge on the opposite side of the board. I'm inserting skewer sticks in the four holes. So now I'm going to flip the board, press down and then there I'll have marks on the sponge for my tufting areas. Now I'm measuring and marking the space for the design on the fabric. On the board I use 6.5 across by 7 inches down. Only difference with the fabric is that I have to add measurement for my stitching allowance. So for every line that I'm going to stitch I will add quarter inch per line. So I'm going to do two lines across and two lines down. 
Therefore, the full measurement for the grid on the fabric will be 7 inches across and 7 and a half inches down. I'm now folding the fabric on the line and I'm stitching quarter inches away from the fold line. I'm now adding four pieces of cord on the tufting points on the fabric. So these four cords will be pulled through the hole on the board to sink the fabric to create a tufting design. I'm adding batting over the sponge to create a soft, comfortable feel and look of the fabric. Now I'm adding the fabric. So I'm just going to push the cord through the hole and then pull it at the back and staple it. And please note the name of the fabric is Yaya. It has a velvety look. It feels soft and comfortable. I'm stapling the cord in a zigzag format because I don't want the cord to pull out after sitting on it for many years. Now I'm pulling over the fabric as hard as I can to remove all the pleats and I'm just folding it over and stapling it. I'm now adding this piece of flap for the easy opening of the cover after which I'll just line it. I'm now adding the straps. Guys, remember I'm working on two other boxes, so I'm lining and inserting straps into them as well. So guys, if you have watched thus far, we're at the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. This is the final look. And guys, I am so pleased with the outcome. I also added my tag to the lid. The box is looking so beautiful. I love the buttonless tufting. It came out so nice for me trying it the first time. So neat, guys. I love it. Comment down below and let me know your feel about the outcome. Also, this is the other box. This is the large one. It is 50 inches long. Same fabric, same brown yaya. Yeah, yeah. Also, adding my tag here to the lid. This one is nice as well. 
and over here now i have the gray one this is a medium one it's it's the same yeah yeah fabric but it's in the gray the brown one has a more textured look this one is more plain but what i like about this one when you sweep the fabric one way you get a darker gray and when you sweep it the other way you kind of get a lighter gray so that is what i like about this fabric so guys thank you for watching bye i'll see you in the next one check out the weight test it's coming up in the other clip weight test on storage box 132 pounds 140 pound 180 pounds total test weight 452 pounds